Hey, it's me, Mr. Guy again. This video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, in this video, I'm going to narrate a video that I recorded of myself squatting heavy weights. Before I say any of the things that I'm going to say in this video, I got to put out a disclaimer that I'm not a professional lifter. I'm an amateur. I do this stuff for fun. And this isn't a fitness focused channel. And I wanted to make this video because somebody else might be in a similar situation where they're doing a seemingly good program, but they've hit a plateau, they can't get over that plateau, and they have no idea what's going on. Their nutrition is on point, their sleep is fine, uh, all that good stuff, and yet seemingly a plateau that they can't get over, right? So for context, I'm doing the Matco 5x5 program. I got strength and size gains from it when I started doing it, but then I hit a plateau again. I've watched a bunch of fitness-related videos on YouTube from the likes of... Jeff Nippard and lots and lots of them, you know, the science based guys, Renaissance periodization, and yet none of the solutions that they provided could actually help me break through my plateaus. I then watched a couple of videos by Eric Bugenhagen, and he proposed the idea that the gusto or the intensity that you bring to the weight room is proportional to how much you're going to get out of it. So I thought, okay, what if it's not the nutrition? What if it's not the sleep? What if it's not a program? What if I'm simply not doing enough volume? And so I decided to modify the program a little bit. On the third training day of Matco Intermediate Program, you're supposed to do three reps on the top set and also increase the weight a little bit. And then for the sixth set, you're supposed to do eight reps with the weight of the third set. So I modified that by doing the set and rep range of Monday, so the first day of training, and also incorporated drop sets to every single exercise every single day. So on every single day when I train, I do drop sets for squats, I do drop sets for bench, for rows, for overhead press, and for deadlifts. And what do you know, soon enough I started making strength gains again. Whereas previously I struggled to squat 165 kilograms for 4 reps, suddenly I could squat 170 for 5 reps. And then shortly after I could squat 175 kilograms for 5 reps. And then recently I got to 180 kilograms for 6 reps. And all this happened within the span of a month and a half. I decided to try this very recently. And the progress has been honestly a little bit weird. Like I did not expect to get that much out of it from seemingly such a simple change. For our other lifts like the deadlift, I struggled to deadlift 200 kilograms for 5 reps. The maximum that I got to was 207.5 kilograms for 4 reps. But then I got sick. And afterwards, my strength dropped to the point where I couldn't even do like 195 kilograms for five reps. Of this program, I got my strength up to 210 kilograms for five reps. And this week, I'm going to try doing 215 for at least four reps. And we'll see how that goes. Aside from that, what else did I notice? I noticed that my cardio got a lot better. Generally, I feel better altogether. Like I'm less lethargic and just more full of energy. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel better, you know? One thing that I had was occasionally I would get this weird back pain in my lower back that was muscular. It wasn't like the spine or anything. It was muscular in nature. And I could never figure out why it was happening. But for some reason, lifting more fixed it. Then I also had weird knee pain that I also didn't know like how to fix. It was far more pronounced before I started doing mat cow 5x5. After I started doing Matka 5x5, it went down significantly, but it was still there sometimes. And now that I started doing drop sets, it went away completely also. So when I started adding drop sets to the program, I thought that the opposite would happen. I thought that because of the increased load, both my knee and my back would hurt even more. But no, they both stopped hurting altogether. I'm just putting this out there because it might be useful to someone. Maybe someone else is also in a similar situation where they have hit a plateau on fucking everything and they have no idea what to do. They're watching these YouTube videos, nothing's helping. And you know, the solution might be as simple as just lifting more, which was the case for me. So thanks for watching. Maybe this will be useful. Bye bye now.